Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Liz here and today I'm sharing with you some awesome books that I brought from the Christian bookstore lately. Uh, so welcome to Faithful Fridays. Hope you enjoy and um, let's just get into it. Okay, on with the books. So, these are all from Mana Christian Bookstores, which is our main, I guess, franchise or chain of faith-based books and gifts and all that stuff in New Zealand. Uh, so the first thing is the Amplified Bible, and it, to give you an example, Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans and thoughts that I have for you, says the Lord, plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster, to give you to give you a future and a hope. So the and the and thoughts and the and well being is kinda of added on from like the NIV. So that's cool. Uh, it, it basically on the back it says the Amplified Bible was created to deliver enhanced understanding of all the rich nuances and the shades of meaning in the original Bible languages. Um, so that is very good, very interesting. On the front it just says captures the full meaning behind the original Greek and Hebrew. Don't you just love this picture? Oh my gosh, gorgeous. So, whoops, I just threw the Bible on the ground. <laughs> Little good humour in there for you. Um, the next one, I am a massive Bethel fan. Um, uh, I have in my hands. <coughs> God is good. He's better than you think, and it's by Bill Johnson, obviously, which he is the senior pastor of Bethel Church, and it's basically, on the back it says, God is better than we think, so it's time to change the way we think about him, and it basically goes through, like, God's goodness in the Bible and stuff. That's really fun. That was a really terrible explanation. Sorry, but, <laughs> hey, let's just still sick and still tired so we'll forgive her <laughs> that's me that's me i'm Liz. uh next one i've actually had this for a long time i think i brought it in one of their last sales they're always having sales but this is between heaven and the real world my story by stephen curtis chapman he is one of my favorite 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 songwriters um, and he also like provides pictures from his childhood. Like how awesome is that? I, stop saying like Elizabeth. Just to give you an example, and um, <coughs> he is the man who you might have actually heard of him. Okay, it says for decades Stephen Curtis Chapman's music and message have brought hope and inspiration to millions. Now for the first time, Stephen openly shares the experiences that have shaped him, his faith his family and his music in a life that has included incredible highs and face shaking lows. Discover the stories behind some of his best loved songs. Walk with him as him as he whoops, and his wife, Mary Beth, navigate the joys and trials of marriage and family. Cheer for his return to the stage after doubting he could ever sing again and see God in the aftermath of the tragic death of their five year old daughter Maria. Poignant gut-wrenchingly honest yet always hopeful Stephen offers no sugary solutions to life's toughest questions yet out of the brokenness he continues to trust God until one day fix what is unfixable in the space between heaven and the real world so really inspiring um I am up to chapter nine that's really good um this next one I love learning about prayer and faith and all that stuff, so this one is by the author and teacher <coughs> Dutch Sheets and it is called Intercessory Prayer. And it's just like persistent prayer and all that stuff. And next one is I Can Only Imagine by Bart Millard and it is his Story. Uh, this was the guy that, see, now a major motion picture, it's the guy that I can only imagine about. If you haven't seen that, you should. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Uh, but it's his biography, basically. You get this. Those colour photos! 
Um, but yeah, he, excuse me, this guy went through a lot, like, his mother left and then his dad got pancreatic cancer and he didn't know and they were like really rough for a while. And for years, like, he was at this childhood camp, this is one of my favourite things. Um, I don't think we, there was one single dry eye when we were watching the movie. For years, I think maybe like at least, gosh, nearly 20. <coughs> For years and years and years, he, after going to a, like, summer camp, where he actually met his wife, as a child, um, so jealous, <laughs> but, um, yeah, he met his wife there, when he was like eight, but there was this section on forgiveness, and the, the speaker was telling them that to right I forgive and then put blank and then put somebody's name in there and until he patched things up with his father like for years and years and years this this page stayed blank and finally he was able to bring himself to forgive his father and um he wrote the song I can only imagine as his father was dying and like <sighs> excuse me getting emotional oh my gosh because <coughs> he knew that his father was, you know, I guess ascending into glory, as we say. And so he's saying, like, I can only imagine what it will be like for his, like, father to walk by God's side, I guess. Sorry, I'm feeling really awkward today. <laughs> <coughs> Next one, which is uh, actually based, it's not based on, um, the movie is based on this book. It is called The Battle Plan for Prayer, which if you can see in the corner, sorry I was right, inspired by the feature film War Room. <laughs> so it's by the Kendrick Brothers and it's just like another one about prayer, got their personal stories in there too. Um, Second to last one is The Boys Born Dead by David Ring and it's basically a <coughs> biography of this guy who had cerebral palsy and um, like his friendships, his courage and his triumph. Um, that story made me cry. Trigger warning, there are a few uh, sensitive subjects in there but uh, as long as you've got your tissues and you're aware that it's not like a pretty story should be good and then the last one which I'm still reading which is why I kind of left it for last is The Case for Christ by Lee Strobel there is a movie on this but what I like about the book is it skips out all the plot and actually has just the interviews that he had with various people trying to prove the evidence for Jesus so there you are those are the latest books I've been buying. I can't believe my camera has worked. Wow! Oh my gosh, so excited. Um, <coughs> <coughs> be on the lookout for more videos. And uh, say a little prayer for me that I stop coughing. God bless you all.